Last week, while the stump was burning, I took the opportunity to grub out most of the tussock that was growing in this area. What I'm wanting to do today, not only is firstly, I of course need to uh, clean this tussock up. Uh, I'm going to actually put it onto the area where the stump was and compost it there. But then I want to cultivate this area and to plant some green manure into it. My goal with this piece of ground is to actually grow some type of crop in it in the spring. Now it's late autumn and so we've got plenty of time across winter to actually get some green manure going and then let the hens back in here and let them work on it before it's time to look at a spring crop. So that should improve the soil and that's the main goal. This soil has never been cultivated before, it's never grown anything in it other than native uh, vegetation and while the trees themselves were cleared off at probably 15 or 20 years ago really probably now, it's grown a lot of tussock and this type of material in the meantime. Another of the jobs I need to do before I actually cultivate it is to cut back these kiwi fruit because they are going pretty crazy coming over the fence and will be in the road too. So I'll cut those back and then along with the tussocks that can all go onto the area where the stump was and can compost down. When the hens come back in here of course in uh, another six weeks or so time they will uh, really enjoy pulling that apart. Well having finally cleared the ground it took a bit of effort but it created quite a pile there to compost down and that should I think it should break down reasonably well uh, but a bit slower over winter. Now one of the things that's interesting is this soil I selected to use because it is quite nice particularly on the surface but what is interesting is if we dig into it to see what it is like looking in here you'll see that there's quite a lot of uh, bracken fern roots in it as we go a little bit deeper it becomes a little more clay I mean it is clay soil all the way but there is quite a bit of organic matter in the surface which is making it brown and I think overall this is really going to turn into quite nice uh, soil quite quickly. But one of the things that I want to do before I cultivate is to test the soil pH. I'm quite interested to see what this is. When I originally established my veggie garden I, 20 years ago here I didn't test the soil in the first place so when it was coming uh, from the forest. So I'm quite interested to see what this is like. I don't test soil that frequently so it takes a little bit of remembering how to do this but I'm going to test just a little bit just below the surface and get a small amount out that's probably way too much something like that break up some of those bigger pieces and then give it a few drops of the liquid That's enough to paste it up. What this pH is of course determines whether or not I should add any lime to it. And then we'll put a bit of powder on it. It's probably way too much. Bring this up here closer so that you can see let's see where we're going on this chart it's still changing a little bit but it's well coming somewhere in around the five five and a half mark by my eye I will add some lime to it because I think it could do with a little bit before cultivation uh, but I think it will rise quite quickly once there's some cultivation and the hens are on it fertilizing it. Now it is finally time for me to cultivate. Now I'm using my little tiller which is fairly light and 
really a heavier device would be much better for a job like this but it's what I have so it's what I use I know some people the purists of uh, no dig would say you shouldn't be doing this this other ways that it could be done time and money wise I find this the most efficient to quickly get the ground broken and get something growing in it and established it'll do a lot better a lot quicker this way uh, without like if I was to cover this with compost it would cost quite a lot of time effort money etc so being light of course it's a pretty rough ride and it bucks around but the first pass while it was fairly shallow with a second run through it's broken up to a reasonable depth sufficient depth really to get the seed into and that's really what I want and what I'm going to do now is to actually spread this seed out now this is oats that I'm planting ideally you would have some legumes in with this but I simply haven't got any at the moment and forgot to buy some so I'm just putting down the oats it'll be some nice green pick for the hens when they come in here I like to plant it in their pens in succession so this will work in with that quite nicely it's good to give them something nice and fresh and green to work with so I'll simply spread this all around and then come in with the, the rake and rake it into the ground the oats is my preferred grain to plant this time of the year over winter it will grow quite well uh, we've got now probably four weeks where they're still going to germinate and start growing before the winter rains really set in and it really gets cold and growth basically stops at that point so that'll get started sufficiently I think so that in early or spring or probably late winter I'll be able to bring the hens in here and let them start picking on it to give it a bit of a time before I then come in and recultivate for a crop. The final job of course is for me to block the entrance way from the normal chook pen into here. If I don't do that the hens will think that I put this seed in just for them. However, now that it's all nicely in the ground it needs some water. By the sky I'm hoping that the predicted rain tonight will come and it'll give it all a little bit of a water and I won't have to do anything. If it doesn't eventuate overnight I might put the sprinkler on tomorrow just to give it a little damping down just to speed the process up. So I think this will start this soil moving and in the spring I'll be able to move in here and put that green manure plus the donations that have come from the hens back into the soil and start a crop that should actually do reasonably well.